Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and happy first day of spring. I thought I would film my spring haul, because like I said, today is the first official day of spring, and I am absolutely loving it. The weather is just beautiful outside, and I was flipping through some magazines this morning, and all of the brights and pastels and everything that's in trend, I guess, for the season, just got me so inspired, so I decided to go do a little shopping, with the exception of one item that I actually ordered on eBay. So I figured I would show you my little haul and um, let me know how you guys like it. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I'm actually going to show you just to um, get out of the way just because I'm excited about it but I know everybody and their dog on YouTube here has reviewed them already and it is the Revlon Lip Butters. I um, absolutely had to find out what the hype was about but they are not very cheap so I just started with number 25 peach parfait and I absolutely love it. I wear it almost every day so I knew I had to try out other colors. Um, let me do a quick swatch for you guys if you want to see. Let's see here. It's just a beautiful sheen pink. Um, like I said I wear it almost every day. I absolutely love it. It's right there. So pretty. And then the next one that I got was number 90 and it's Sweet Tart and it is this beautiful, beautiful pink, such a spring color. It's so, fr it's so bright and fun, um, such a bubblegum pink color kind of. And that is this one on my hand, the second one there. And then the color that I'm actually wearing on my lips today I got most recently and it is color 50 and Berry Smoothie. And I actually got this one because um, my mom loves the darker colors and um, she just prefers to wear darker colors on her lips. So she loved the consistency and the moisture of Peach Parfait and Sweet Tart, but she didn't want to wear anything that bright. So I got her um, this berry smoothie. And like I said, that's the one I'm wearing today. And I absolutely love it. So those are just the very few makeup products that I got and let's go ahead and show you the clothes that I bought that I'm really excited about. So you guys know I really don't shop anywhere but Kohl's and that's where um, two of these pieces are from but I did check out Old Navy because I have um, been receiving emails from them and I do like the whole um, pop pants trend that's if you don't pop pants it's just um, pops of color jeans. So they have, you know, neons, um, yellow, green, there's pink, red, um, cobalt blue, those kinds of colors on your jeans. And I think, like I said, I'm, um, if you guys watch most of my videos, I'm very not, or I'm not very an on-trend kind of girl. I like wearing classic pieces. That's why I love the Lauren Conrad collection from Kohl's is because I always feel on trend. I always feel classic and ladylike and put together. But sometimes I do like to follow the trends, and I absolutely loved the pop pants, but I don't know what it is recently, but I'm hating jeans. Hating them. It's probably because it's spring, and I want to whip out all of my spring dresses and skirts and that kind of thing, but I just do not like wearing jeans. So I know I knew from the get-go I didn't want to purchase any pop pants jeans, because um, I didn't think I'd wear them as much. So I was on the hunt for pop pants shorts. And I did find the perfect pair because really what kind of kick-started this whole thing for me was I was actually looking at Dulce Candy's blog and she had a picture, well she I know she has a YouTube video of how to style the um, pot pants and I'll post a link down below if I can remember to find it. Um, but it was a picture that I saw and she was wearing these bright bright blue pants and just a white t-shirt and I wanted to... Um, mimic that because just the way that it just looks so nautical and so fresh and I really liked it and I am going on another cruise so I thought that that would be a really nice outfit to have um, and then what really pushed me over that edge was my mom and I went to Dress Barn about a month ago and I found this huge chunky necklace that has all of these bright blues and turquoise and it's got all of these little sea star charms in it and I really, really loved it. So I want, I had, how do you, I, da, da. <laughs> I had already envisioned a white t-shirt and the bright blue shorts. So I just, it was just a matter of finding them. 
and I was looking for so long and I just could not find them until I went to Old Navy today. So first I found this top solely because my white top that I have right now for layering, it's starting to get a little hole on the bottom. So I just picked this one up to replace it. But I like this one not only because it's a little more flowy, but I love the dolman sleeves, how it has the, the dolman sleeves, but then the um, hole on the shoulder, what's called the cold shoulder. I really, really like that, and I just thought that was nice and flowy. A nice top, um, and it was, it, the tag says $22.94, but I know I bought it for $15 because there's a big sign, um, so it must have been one of the promotions, but I got it for $15. And then I will show you guys my um, shorts. They are, oh, oh here. And here are the bright blue shorts that I picked up. Aren't they so cute? I love them. They're just fun. Um, and that's what is good about places like Old Navy, I think, is that they are definitely more durable than places like Forever 21. And I, these were um, $20 for these shorts. So I'd rather spend $20 on a fun trend and just in case it does come back in style or I really do like it, I can keep um, keep incorporating it into my wardrobe. Excuse me, my wardrobe. And um, they'll last me a bit longer than if I had bought them at places like Forever 21. So um, definitely one of the first trend pieces I bought in a while um, I normally don't go for these kinds of things, but they are just so cute. I could not pass them up. Um, and I just think they go absolutely perfect with my bright blue turquoise um, necklace. So I'm really, really excited for that. And then, um, like I said, I went to Kohl's. That's really the only other place I shop. I have been trying to be good and branch out, and then I went into several different shops, and I just could not find anything that just spoke to me as much as Kohl's. I love the Lauren Conrad line. I'm really liking the L line also. And I've always, always loved candies, ever since I can remember. And now that Leah Michelle is the face of candies, I absolutely adore her. I adore her, so that is prompting me to buy even more from that collection. But anyway, so the first thing, the first and only thing I picked up from candies is these crochet crochet shorts and like I said you guys I have just I don't know what it is I have not been liking jeans so I've been on a total dress skirt shorts kick because I just don't like jeans right now but um, I just absolutely love these they're flowy they're fun I wasn't crazy about the black band at the top um, but I figured any shirt I wore with it it would cover it so it wasn't that big of a deal um, but I really, really, really like these. And the they say they were $44, but again, I believe everything from this collection in Living Color is the collection name. And I believe they were, everything from that collection was 30 or 35% off. So I didn't get these for 44 I don't remember what I paid for them, but super cute. And then um, the two shirts that I got from Lauren Conrad were these two and then I'll show you the one thing that I picked up from eBay and that will be the end of my very small spring haul. <laughs> um, my birthday is in May so I usually like to do birthday shopping so I'm kind of saving my money for my birthday shopping trip so I only picked up a few things for spring this year and then I figured I'd spend the rest of my spending money on my birthday. But anyway, the first top is this top and I, as soon as I saw this, if I had to be a shirt it would be this one. <laughs> this is absolutely, absolutely my style, my personality. This is getting really weird. I'm just calling myself a shirt. But <laughs> this just how proves how much I absolutely love the Lauren Conrad line. I, I actually have seen maybe one or two things that I don't really care for from all of her collections since I've started shopping at Kohl's. Um, and then to me that is absolutely amazing because usually before I found the Lauren Conrad collection I would shop at stores and it was always a hit or miss for me. And I was just never really, I mean I liked my clothes, I thought they were cute, but I was just never really happy for them. I was never, 
I never felt good in what I was wearing until I started getting her clothes and I just feel I just I just love the way I dress um, so that was like a really long tangent but anyway <laughs> this shirt it is so beautiful it is like this peach light peach coral color and it just has this nice um, you know ruffling detail in the front but what really sold me is the back of this shirt it comes into a racer back but it's lace and it has just a nice little peephole but I absolutely love this shirt I think it is beautiful for spring with some white shorts and maybe a little white um, little wedges some long gold jewelry I don't know I just absolutely love this shirt and this shirt was $36, but again, the Malibu Doll Collection, the one that this is from, um, I think was 30 or 35% off, so I didn't pay that much. You guys know I'm a college student, so I have to buy on a budget. Especially the Lauren Conrad things. Her, her items are affordable regardless, but especially for a college student, I have to be very wary of how I spend my money. And then the last piece I picked up was this beautiful pastel green and I loved the mesh on the top and then how it went into the pleating at the bottom and it almost has it's not a sweetheart neckline but it kind of dips just slightly right here and I really liked that and then it has a cute little peephole in the back again so cute and then this one was again 36 but with my discount it was less than that and the very last piece I picked up is from Lauren Conrad, who else would it be from, but it's actually not from Kohl's. I ordered it on eBay. I don't know why it never occurred to me to check eBay um, for Lauren Conrad or candies, but I've started doing that, and I'm finding some amazing deals, especially on past collections that I hadn't seen, but you know, that were there before I knew she even had a clothing line, so it's nice that I'm having the chance to get those clothing pieces, but anyway, I picked up this dress, and um, if you guys want me to do a video showing you how I use eBay and how, you know, what to look for as far as sellers and um, that kind of thing, I can certainly do a video on that. I know Check in the Mirror has one, and if I can find it, I'll post that in the comment um, box too, because that one's actually very, very detailed and helpful. Um, but definitely eBay is a great place to look, especially if you know what to type, what you're looking for. It can really be, it can really come in handy. But anyway, again, back to the dress. This is, I just really like this dress. It has a nice kind of corset look on the top, and it has this sweetheart neckline, which I, that's got to be definitely my favorite kind of style on a dress. And it's just this black dress with the light pink and the almost magenta pink flowers, and then it ties right here in the back, which I think is so cute. But anyway, that, woo, that did not work. <laughs> anyway, that was my spring haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, like I said, or requests, definitely please feel free to leave me requests in the bottom comment box below. I did film my room tour, or I'm going, I'm going to film my room tour. I didn't already. I'm going to film my room tour right after this video, so the next couple of videos I'll be wearing the same shirt, but I um, am on spring break, so I really wanted to get some videos up, so I wanted to sit down today and film them. So if you see me wearing the same shirt a couple times, I'm not, I don't own just this one shirt. I just wanted to sit down and film some videos, but I'm going to film my room tour because I know that was requested. And I was thinking about doing, um, filming a review for the Clarisonic Mia. I got that for Christmas this year, and I was thinking about filming my review on that. Um, I was thinking about doing an updated What's in My Purse video. I was thinking about doing a couple things. So just let me know what you guys want to see. I want to film what you want to see. So, and don't forget to check out my blog, kdckdoo.blogspot.com. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!